Well, hello and welcome to AYV Television. This is a special edition of AYV Entertainment and Sports or AYV Sports Update. Well, right now they're right inside the house of one of Sierra Leone's very own Kwame Kui. And of course, we all know Udana Kwame Kui, but for the one that we don't know, and get for can know the full story of Kwame Kui, and of course, the world career and up to in present moment waiting and waiting in tears. Welcome Kwame Kui inside the program. Hello, welcome to AYV Kwame. Hello, AYV. Um, my name is Kwame Kui and it's your alone international football player. All right, so first of all, let, 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 let me start first with um, you. What I mean, you, um, family and like for like, give a small history how this football passion come about. Well, then, um, nothing on you. You know, football. I born with football. Now a natural talent for me, and also, and also, they everyone know me for hard work as well. Put the hard work in. So, and for make I go up to this time in football, and people not not be surprised. And not say for me, hood area where I believe, and uh, and I go up as a football player. So for achieve this into this long time, it take a lot, but also hard work and dedication. Right, of course, hard work and dedication. Now, um, we know from the past history, there we passed heroes, them. We see also have plenty, plenty of footballers, them. You know, when they, when, when um, they come to the retirement age, we they see, say, well, uh, we see, we see, we already see them, and also we expect to see them. But you uh, are a very young, talented footballer, you know, you really don't work hard for big USA, you be so. Um, Fumbling will like for no. Um, the history from your grassroots stage, how you begin play see to say this one. Well, um, just so you say nothing new, I start from Sierra Rangers, I then call Papa Jack, you know, before the, the white guy for working from CRS. Um, from there, I passed to Agro FC Johansson, when Aisha Johansson team for my president. Um, from there, I also get back to for go some Charles in Denmark, Valley and uh, go in Denmark and also Iceland. Start my professional football in Iceland 2017 with uh, Viking goal last week. And uh, I also got a break to as well. Go my team called Viking We can week again. Then also play for Breda Bleak. Go in Saudi Arabia. Go through a lot with my hard work and all and also flights. Last year I played in uh, Israel for a team called Apple Lifer. And I now mean a free player at the home and train also something new will come as soon as possible. But for now I'm mean a free player and the journey it'll you know, be easy as well, but you know that keep me going and also make me the quite quick till like today. Alright, so now let's talk about you, your career, your international career, career live outside Sierra Leone. Because we know, say, it's really not easy, you know, looking at the racism and all. So take which school you journey outside of Sierra Leone. Well, racism a, a football, you know, I think we, you know, call for football now one language we speak. And also, it doesn't matter the color. So, I don't know if you say racism for deeper football. If for me, I regard it, I hear something a lot from different people outside the passion we are get for football and also and the place where I come out. You understand about Sierra Leone, yeah. Seven point five or more people are with there. They agree a lot to don't see many things there. So it's like outside a different world, but where you go you get for be disciplined and also focus and achieve what you want. You know, we don't agree a lot of different things there, but you know can too bother me, you know, but because of our one catch the international level level and also one thing that pick and mark also not representing Kwame Kui, representing also Sierra Leone for Pussy Leone at the map as well. So we're still fighting 
and we still did not the journey for make uh, become something better. You know what I mean? Alright, so growing up, would I not be you, your your, your icon, like somebody where you feel say this person has so I want be like, or this person now motivates me for putting the hard work in terms of football. When I was young, before when I come up, I even get a picture, when, a small picture, because me I be a skinny guy, lanky. I be the, I be the, I remember people like they call me Robino, Robino. They one of my my cousin also give me a Brazilian name called Acadinho. People don't know about that, but it's like no everyone know about this name. So like I be love Robino, where be they play football, and I be the watch him. All right, of course, Robino, uh, uh, Brazilian international, one of the best, actually. All right, so now, uh, looking at uh, the way our um, Sao Leone did, the Premier League, and uh, and all. So, when you, uh, uh, the look match and all, what are you feel like for, say, if you be the player of Sao Leone, with um, uh, the AST Lions, FC Calon, or the likes, right? So, what are you feel to say that will be your toughest opponent in terms of defence? Well, uh, man, it's moment in time where you know football is all about growth. So we don't go, we don't maturity from outside. We don't get experience. I don't feel say I go able to fear somebody again by football. I go use my head while they play, but not try for them, grade them. They all like football players. But why be they come up? We get a tough opponent, we then call Sakila. We be play for Central Parade. You know, he's just a nasty guy. Sorry for the word, but football we use this language. He can just go go all the time, but me into off the pitch, me in a good partner, me in a good party, good friend. He can come to chill and relax. But I am one of the tough opponents, probably play the Sicilian Premier League. But I don't feel say I get anybody again where they are they fear. Right, so now, um, uh, let me go to go you life small. When you're not playing football, like when you not play football at all, you know, let's say you're on an off-season break. What thing you can do extra? I mean, uh, off season is different, and also when you get break, na break. But for me right now, I did an off season also looking for something else. No, also I look for something, and also I keep myself fit each and every day. People are see me at the beach and at the gym area. Also, they keep myself keep going, train my body, train me. You all said I've just come a YSC. Go kick football. I just want to get the rhythm until something they come up. So, but sometimes again, me leisure time I do music. I do music off the pitch. I do music. Yes, of course. And uh, I don't listen a couple of his songs them where you don't play. Actually, actually, I can say to you now, um, that's na one of a world class thing. If somebody not really know you, then go feel say you know, you know. A musician right because of the you songs them and um now coming into this music thing right you know really you can say footballer after after football you know for coming to music i think one or two don't do that there are some jan likes of them you can say with the sing one or two times so what's in count the idea what's up the idea for going to music yeah you get many football players that with really, really do music not only on a summer jam but also the you poor you can get the uh, this guy, Rafael Leo, also Nima, they all don't sing the song. Many play them. It's not comprising, but I mean, just me. I don't get for IBM, you know, talent, who I get. And I try to establish, if it's possible, anything what I do, people don't know about me. You know what I mean? So, doing music, and I think we did say, I get a rhythm, it's different. And you don't say, we add the sound and music them from what they put a word. You know, because I mean, I put a word. I'm also proud of that. So. I've done the in Jamboya Streets, a guy called Fita Mayo. They do this rap thing. They present rap college. First, first time I'll be rap business with the, with the kick in the So we do we'll more go to the trend for rap, rap, rap. But now we see the music world change and also Afro, the takeover, and also Zuka my piano. So I mean I put a good on a good on the rhythm, a good on the I get feeling for beats. If I know what in good. So doing music also I get the taste. And I love music. Alright, so now, uh, if um, I will ask you, you know, when you're coming up, aside football, which are the other thing where you get passion for you? Um, just music, 
past of football is not music, more entertainment like showbiz. Now that I mean, um, showbiz entertainment side, past of football. If you know the football, I will do that because I know say I get another talent, but I'm just so. I the same entertainment side there. And also football and entertainment because music goes with football, football goes with music, you know. Sometimes in the world with stress, get for listening to good music and also cool the tempo. You can see the international games them, also the Champions League. You can see when football players they go, they get the headsets. You know, for ease up the tempo and also make you focus because you get for can do something else people really enjoy. And it's football I enjoy in the game, so music is life. Music can cool the tempo and also the pressure out of human being. Okay, so now, uh, what thing you feel to say make you outstanding than most other players? Nothing different. We all, we all are human beings and we all are football players. And but you get something special. We, I feel say, as a football player, not the feel yourself, but also you need you need to put the work in before you come out and show yourself you are the best. You know. Relentless and also for become great and the best players in what you get for the get for sure I'm inside the field. So there's certain qualities and we people that if, as a football player we for sure people them and football now you go with your aid, no like you say you play football, no more you won't kick the ball, now you the play with your aid. And you can watch Manchester City as now. If you're not clever up here, you know they play another and then football team like So hard work com commitment and also if I'll be smart up the head, so you'll be able to play football. I think, say, I get one of them things then. They, I get most of them things, they're not one of most of them things. You know, smart man, and also fast, I think. And that's make me special. All right, so now let's come to um, Leon Stats. First of all, how you feel when you get your first call up for Leon Stats? Well, um, um, I get my first call up in 2014. Can you remember 2014? On the 14th of September, yes, a coach called all of Matt. No, no, it's not all of Martin. It was the name Great Bellamy coach. This great man coach. I don't know Johnny Mackiston. Yeah, I remember. I got call up for man because like uh, it's like it tangled something. You know what I mean? Like uh, I believe FC Johansson So um, maybe they pick some two three home based the train and unfortunate for be like this lucky person way for go. Playing at the big side at the national team 18. But well, unfortunately, we play FC Calon friendly game where then the likes of Tete, Khalifa Jabi, and also Kai Kamara legend. They all be the part of the team. I mean, I mean, at the youngest, smallest, and uh, unfortunately, forget like a 10 minutes of this friendly game. So, yeah, that's why I gave me a break to anyone come inside, come do something magic. And I got scouted from the coach. Straight away, people understand, start talking like so. Oh, we need for, we need for encourage this but it's not a prospect player. We, we need for build up. So that's why I gave me a break too and start being at the A team. Since then, that's when you start. I think they are like stagnant player on the wing. So, like, how you feel like when you know, pick up the call or somebody tells you, Kwame, you name not at the first team space. For play for your own stars, how you feel? Well, um, uh, it's like it's just like a dream to me because as a young player, how small I am, small at the body, skinny, being part of some players who they don't go out already, they don't deal at their international level and also club level, experience wide, deal between them. It's like I be the dream, you know, and also I have a minute in that same game, like 12 minutes in the game. I can't say, and I play well. I've been thinking about the dream up to now. But the encouragement from these guys, Kai, Medo, you know, they also like, I see myself like, say, at the same level with them because football is not about fear. It's about just go there and enjoy yourself. So it's like, I go there and do my stuff and enjoy. And up to now, see, I just they keep going and also keep it going to become say, a better player. You know? All right, so now let's talk about the legendary game, if I can put it that way. But before we come to that, Sierra Leone against Nigeria, when Sierra Leone become from a 4-0 uh, defeat, forget a 4-4 level. But before we come to that, we'll just take this quick break and we'll come right back. 
Bar AYV ENT News Now with the brunchy Hawaii Bangura and Jane the Big Flexer. Serving you fun-filled entertainment with trending topics, sports, gossip, celebrity lifestyles, and more. From Sierra Leone, across Africa, and around the world. The AYV ENT News Now, Mondays to Fridays on Channel 399, DSTV, and Channel 34. Uh, welcome back. Well, we're still inside um, the uh, AYV Sports Special and um, uh, David Kwame Kui and of course they give you a profiling of his self. Uh, but before we go, we'll be talking with the comeback and we go know and talk about the game between uh, Sierra Leone and Nigeria. Of course, we know that game they then be, um, you know, take him as one of the greatest comeback in African football. Sierra Leone come for a form of four nil a defeat to a four four draw, and of course this man sitting beside me, are the first man we give Sierra Leoneans them hope, because now he scored the first goal. We make a four one. Alright, so Kwame, uh, let's talk about Nigeria and Sierra Leone. Now Sierra Leone be the four nil down. How he be didn't send any. Wow, I need to remember this game. Oh, I just smile because it's like a big history in Africa. Also, the biggest comeback from 4 0 to 4 4. Mm, that's a show saying football. Don't give up, just keep fighting, you know. And we should say, you know, we are mountain from Sierra Leone. We'll make the people in part of it from Sierra Leone as well. So, for me, score against Nigeria, my first goal. Start the start the comeback with the first goal. It's like for boost up the team and also motivate some players. Say we can able to do them. So and then I, I lifetime dream to see young people and they always remember. Even we meet up Nigeria again, again and again. And Nigeria, everybody knows and a tough opponent and a one a top notch in a, a Africa. One of the Second best in football right now, presently in Africa. So they get world class blood in the likes of Aribo, it will be them, you know. So for players, against them, tough opponent in the day. Not easy, but you know, Sierra Leone is small people, and you know, so they go, they go to one mind, and also discipline. That should say, you know, football player. All right, so now, uh People will agree with me, see, that match day, that the match we, you know, climax everything, that the match we give Sierra Leone and hope, and that the match we make Sierra Leone qualify to the Africa Cup of Nations. Because me personally, I've been in an office, they watch the game, and we did, we did four, four nil down, I see the faces of Sierra Leoneans, people them all over the country, all man, they suck tits, or they vex, or they cry and that. You know, it was so, 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 so devastating. But when you score the first goal, I know somebody in the office will talk, say this game has so they equalize. Oh, like all man to watch and say, are you okay? Because it's unbelievable for 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 come from a 4 nil defeat to so 4 4 against super eagles, the super eagles. Right? And and but at least they never give up, just like what you talk. So we can forget the 4 4 goal. Now when the game be the fourth gear against Sierra Leone. We see how the determination be day. Why right, so you go take with through that process day when the game be the fourth game against uh, Sierra Leone? How wanna be day? Well, um, when the game be the fourth three, that be, that be the motivates each and every player say we able to do them. And if they add more time, we be able to win against them because for you score one two three from four down to one two three, no say there is a hope. And football is like a 90-minute game. One minute self can change the whole narrative of the game, you know? So, where the game be the fourth game, and the likes of the experienced player they put the stress and put them inside, and Halaji come inside. I know see something they have for the feeling be the, and also we be just determined to say, that Nigerians win a Sierra Leone. That's why they get the, the bigger names they didn't take. But we just they keep going and also do things. Like, when the 4-4 come, you're not surprised. 
and we just like it's unbelievable just to say the biggest comeback you know in africa of course not the biggest comeback in africa then they don't go down our history books as one of the greatest comeback in africa right but now sierra leone end up draw four four and boy an officer you did you can imagine how sierra leone be day like that did he? everything was shut down the internet place everything was shut down because of the roar the noise of sierra leone people they make carnival in the streets then they dance all over sierra leone for that 440 so now we're going to guinea against benin right and then the game will all we for qualify and of course we see usai kai kamara gets the the one 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 uh, uh nil win now when um Sierra Leone, we get for play against Benin. We see the controversies will happen, right? And still, we play against Corona. Five players and substituted, and um, the game never will play around postpone. But at least the swift intervention of the FA to make the game hold. There are at some point we, we we see like for say Benin, we be kind of scared because they know the history what to what to happen against Nigeria. So they be kind of scared and we want push the game before, but the game will not play. Now take me through that game day. Well, um, me for me, I don't be get no fear. I be deal no say. Hence, we we'll play the game. I will label them home because of this way. So we we'll get some kind of sanction from the FA or FIFA or something like that. I be no say something they come out and we de qualify. But it's not an easy tax. We will be going again because of the some points where. Uh, certain situation they wake up about this corona, something like that. Send some of the key key players in and begin exclude them outside. We that be begin a big worry for the coach and also waiting in game plan and waiting one do. But uh, that's make you get many players and they get back up. So this part is small, it's not the name. They didn't get them big name. But we find out say the NBA already them panic by the game. So that's why they be so happy when two, three of the players in we get some certain issue then. But we go there, we turn things around and we make a history also as Sierra Leone. We make a history also in Africa because it's almost like 20 years, I don't know, or 21, 25 years, yeah? Sierra Leone no go to no like a major tournament or competition. More like uh, the AFCON and also World Cup. So we turn things around in that moment time and also also, we also had a dream to win for me being part of um, Sierra Leone qualified to AFCON at that time and also boost up my CV and also people can also watch and say, yeah, we get some certain young players where they come up in a Sierra Leone way they for look at in the future. So I'll be proud and also be extremely happy. Well, of course, we're all proud and extremely happy. Now, um, you know, you, and only for tell you now the the, the welcoming we wanna receive when I be when I be come inside Sierra Leone back, right? Because we see from uh, 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 the border yonder, take come to national stadium, everybody be the out out there they try for welcome una, they tell una thank you and una really really make Mama Salo proud. But I look come a, a bit personal, you know, right? You know, take me through about your personal life, you know, because we see you on social media, you know, one of you know stone as them when it comes to social media even when you score your goals out there the celebration you know you get that dance where you can dance right <laughs> and that dance day <laughs> everybody i see some people in the travel copy and say so you can watch one or two games then we and some some but what in score and they travel with a celebration day right so take me to your you personal life any any any, any wife girlfriend kids um a personal life is damn too private sometimes and if you watch me i guess certain things are really good on social media Sometimes I just keep being okay about my personal life. Sometimes, not everything, I can just be moderate. And yeah, I get kids. How many kids? Two. The one named Kai and the one named Kwanza. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. So both of them are boys. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. All right, so now uh, we're almost come to the end of this, you know, exclusive interview. And um, um, we will not forget the final questions then, um, we, before we go outside. And um, uh, one of them, now, uh, this boots, when you 
you know, then on social media, I'll just say, nah, Zonzi, I think Sierra Leone's highest goal scorer right now, now the, the 2023 Premier League. Now, take me through that, put that, that, that boots uh, uh, process. Um, sometimes you have to give people some credit, you know, like, uh, me know, a young player, you know, so I try to achieve something else outside. And in Zonzi as well, you don't make like, uh, it is set your own pick and also, I want to make a name in Sierra football, which of course is a cool kid, a cool lad, because I almost don't pass 18. And at the sea, one set some kind of uh, record in this country where everybody needs motivation. You know, the could will come up and they will say, we're not really see them kind of motivation there. So from we come in football players and from we held that ones in. Maybe they be the doing, but maybe I can't remember. But me want to do that and for motivate them and say, yeah, my man. He came with score more than 23 goals, 26 goals. This is a million for me because I'm very pleased by this year as a young player. For each and every game, we scored 3 4, 3 4. And not only on the 3 4, we don't meet up once and on the beach area because we're all in the same community here. Yeah? We I have a talent like I say, hey, my man, they allow some of the score score pass you. So he even give me a word, say, let them just go no more, I'll be in them. So now a person also get passion for the game. He love playing football, he love for score. And, and I'm your little motivation. And they say, if you win the golden boots, I'll give you brown new shoes for me. So, which I did. And I don't see so already, the season they already done in Sierra Leone. Two or three games left. And he don't get like 23 goals, which of course, I don't know if I can remember. And if any Sierra Leone striker don't score, then can go Sunday in Sierra Leone Premier League. I don't know. But in Zonzi, I think a uh, top top notch player, top class, in a new level. Yeah, I think I appreciate and also that and my own motivation from me to him. So even if they never give him something big, to know say this is not something special from somebody else way, they play football way. Also, they admire way in these goals. All right, okay, so uh, before we go, now, you know, this rumor going around, say, you know, Eastern Lions want to sign you and because you're the off-season right now, so you go elaborate small on that. You know, people in there, and some certain people in the this media business, you know, I think where everybody wants, some people in just want the likes and comments, some people in there just they for the, they get attention, not their own page, but the thing where I can say sometimes I'm very moderate, on my own side, something private about me. But you get a certain time away, as you say, this one go out of hand and I go on the page. I yeah, just let you know, listen to some bloggers when they give fact. If you want for you to give something about my new team or maybe my new development, I think say I get page and I get social media platforms where you can see them and everybody can know the truth, you know. So, me, me, me being going to East Alliance or Bull Rangers, that's just a speculation. It's not true. All right, so now, if you were to play for any of the clubs in Sierra Leone, the English Premier League, whose team do you go and play for? In Sierra Leone? I don't go back to the grassroots team, if you want to see. It's not about money. Sometimes people don't know me already. When they play for money, they play for changing lives, when they play for enjoy. For the most thing that the money, and also I want to be happy as well. So I had to get peace of mind at the other day. And then they want to have the money all the time, then I'm able to play football. I want some because sports not for enjoy. I need to put some size in at the money, then I'm able to enjoy. So me, I always help me grassroots in FC you want to can go to the back and play with free mind anytime. So if I want to play, I will play for them. Okay, so of course, FC Johansson. Now, before we go, you get any message you want to send to family members, somebody who they watch you out there? Yeah, just the fans, them really out there. We also, they really support in any, any craft where they do, and also in the football side, also me entertain side. And people then also so concerned about me. It make up to now and get, and get teammates. And the football not patient, and also people then also transfer just open. And I go make the news as soon as possible when the new developments come at any time then go no boats and i just they train alone 
keep fit and also I'm focus on the upcoming some few weeks for come. All right, thank you very much. But before we go, go like fully give us a little bit of a cappella. <laughs> no, right now, Gianni you know the business, you know, and I guess songs then we don't we they out right now, audio mark and also Apple Music, Spotify, and Boku the men, Zungala, Gek Bang Bam. So sometimes I do that at four and also I'm a piano stuff then. People you know. But yeah, I can give you a little bit flow. No oh, Allah. Like you beat? No way, no way. <laughs> you give me beats for the killer, no problem. Anything can happen. I'm in a mafia. So we can do that in bang bang. Odeo, bang bang. Today we the cherry eye. Bang bang. Odeo, bang bang. Nobody know they sleep, yeah. Bang bang. And a light one. Yeah. I'll upload the full song. Just go on Audio Mac. Any platform about Kwame Q7, you can see all my songs in good day. To subscribe and listen to good music. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Of course, we don't get this exclusive bang bang, bang bang, odeo, bang bang. All right, so we um, are at dinner at Kwame Kuyo, so we don't get an exclusive interview with um, the great man. And of course, this is now AYV Sports and Entertainment Special. And me, now your host, Michael John Fofana. Until we meet again next time, thank you for watching. Always stay glued. <laughs>